Let's take a look at some ways to use paint to transform the look and feel of your home. Hi everyone, Liz here. Welcome to Balance and Rhythm, where we talk about interior design and ways to make the most of our homes to create happiness, health, and well-being. Paint is one of the fastest and least expensive ways to give your home a whole new look. So let's explore some of paint's effects and how you can use it to transform your interior spaces. Paint can help you create an overall atmosphere, so the first thing to ask yourself is how you want your space to feel. Think about the mood you want to create rather than the trends of the moment, which change from year to year. Neutrals are calming colors that are muted or less saturated and are restful to the eye. They can be done in a light and airy way to brighten up space and make it feel almost ethereal. These looks are often created with soft to warm white paint that can be used not only on walls, ceilings, and trim, but cabinetry as well. But if you want a relatively light look with a more grounded and intimate feel, you can go with deeper tones to create a calming and natural cocoon of color. Dark colors add visual weight and depth, creating an intimate atmosphere. Even though they're moody and dramatic, they can also be calming and restful. Painting walls and ceilings the same deep shade will create a cozy and intimate room envelope. Depending on the particular home, it may not be the best choice for overall paint color, but could be a great choice in rooms separated by a door or semi-enclosed areas. Think bedrooms, dining rooms, home offices, libraries, media rooms, and powder rooms, or anywhere you want to create a little moodiness or drama. Another fun way to go if you want to create spaces that are bold and fun is to go with deeper colors that have retained some of their brightness. Bolder colors coming from opposite sides of the color wheel will create more visual excitement because of the high contrast. But another way to use color, and one that is very on trend right now, is to use color drenching to create that excitement, but in a more cohesive way. Color drenching consists of choosing a single color and using it throughout a space, even adding furnishings in the same color family. It is a bold direction, but it isn't just for colorful spaces. You can drench a space in soft neutral colors as well, creating visual excitement, but in a softer way. Some things to keep in mind as you create the mood and feel for your space are some color principles and some paint placement guidelines. For paint placement, keep these guidelines in mind. Paint can be used strategically to shape your space. One big myth is that light paint will make a room look larger while dark paint will make it look smaller. The truth is that it's all in how the paint is used. Using paint that's the same or slightly contrasting in color on walls, ceiling, and trim, whether it's dark or light, establishes continuity and expands the room by blurring the edges of the space. But if your ceiling color is significantly lighter or darker than your wall color, it creates a line of demarcation so you won't get as spacious of a look. If you like this level of contrast but struggle with ceiling height, you can get the illusion of taller ceilings by installing crown molding and painting it the same color as the walls to draw the eye up further, or painting the ceiling in any crown moldings in a darker shade than the walls to make it look lower and create a cozy and intimate feel. Sheen is a great way to create a cohesive look while providing just enough contrast to keep things interesting. This strategy can be used when using the same or similar colors on ceilings, walls, cabinetry, and trim. The most important thing to keep in mind is that the higher the sheen, the more noticeable the texture and imperfections will be. For walls, flat or matte finishes do a great job of de-emphasizing texture and imperfection and have a soft appearance. If you have really smooth walls or want to emphasize texture, eggshell gives a little higher sheen without being too shiny. Eggshell is also good for cleanability, but most of the major paint manufacturers now have durable flat and matte finished paints that are highly cleanable. For baseboards and trim, you can go with satin or semi-gloss depending on your preference for shine. If you have paint and cabinetry, a satin finish is a great choice to help differentiate them from flat or matte walls and coordinate them with the trim. For ceilings, a flat sheen is best at hiding imperfections and keeping the focus on the floors, walls, and furnishings. 
But if you have a Sealy treatment like painted planks or beams, then go ahead and match it to your other trim sheen. For color, keep these principles in mind. Undertones are the result of blending more than one color together. The dominant color is the mass tone or overtone, and it's the color that's perceived. The color you don't see is the undertone, a tint that's added to the paint that gives it warmth or coolness. Paints that look warmer will have yellow, beige, or pink undertones, while those with a cooler look will have blue, green, or purple undertones. The light reflectance value or LRV of a paint lets you know its brightness and how much light it'll reflect. The scale is from zero to 100, with zero being absolute black and 100 being the brightest white. Paints with an LRV of 50 or above will reflect light, while those under 50 will absorb it. Check the back of the paint sample for this information. Light plays a huge role in how color is perceived. What directions the windows of your room face, the exposures, will affect how you view color, as will artificial light. Natural light from north-facing windows will tend to cast a cool light and make things look more gray or blue, and enhance any cool tones in the room. Light from south-facing windows will cast a warm light and make the room appear more yellow and enhance any warm tones in the space. With east-facing windows, you get bright, soft morning light, but the light turns cooler from midday through the afternoon. West-facing windows will give you more subdued light before noon, and it will get warmer and brighter as the afternoon progresses. Windows on more than one side of the room will balance the light somewhat, so you'll have to determine the dominant light source and whether the light is predominantly cool or warm. As you can see, there are a lot of factors affecting how a paint color will look in your home, so be sure to get samples and view them in the space you'll use them in at all times of day and in all lighting conditions, including artificial light in the evenings. How do you use paint to shape and transform your home? Please share in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to be the first to know about new videos. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.